welcome to the sixth lecture on digital simulation in this lecture we will see how to introduce a current controlled current source in our modified nodal analysis equations we will reduce the mna stamp of a current controlled current source the symbol of a current controlled current source is shown here it is connected between node k and the node l in the circuit and the magnitude of that dependent source is alpha times i mn as you can see here the magnitude of this dependent source depends on a current in the circuit i mn is a current in the circuit so current is the controlling variable here so in order to make this uh, i mn as a variable in our mna equations we will introduce a zero volt voltage source in series with it, this current i m n so we will introduce a zero volt voltage source in the path of this i m n it is like connecting an ammeter to measure this current so since the magnitude of the voltage source that we are introducing in the circuit is of value zero volt it will not disturb the circuit so the circuit will not undergo any change but uh, by introducing a voltage source we can make the current passing through that voltage source a variable an unknown variable so uh, we will introduce the voltage source between node m and node n and the current passing through is imn which is controlling our uh, dependent source which is connected between node k and node n so due to the introduction of this zero volt voltage source or ammeter to measure this uh, imn one extra equation will get introduced and one extra variable will be introduced so what is the extra variable the extra variable that is introduced is imn itself or the current which is controlling the dependent source and what is the extra equation that extra equation you can straight away write from here because the potential between m the node and n the node is zero because as such there are no two separate nodes by the introduction of the zero volt voltage source two nodes m and n are created but they are of the same potential since it, this is zero volt so vm minus vn is equal to zero is the extra equation that is being introduced so one, there will be one extra variable imn in our mna equations and one extra equation vm minus vn equal to zero so let us see uh, how the mna matrix will get modified since we have one extra variable and one extra equation uh, there will be one extra row and one extra column in our modified nodal analysis matrix equations this extra row corresponds to uh, this uh, vm minus vn equal to zero extra equation so due to the introduction of the zero volt voltage source we have one extra equation vm minus vn equal to zero so that can be uh, that results in an additional row in the matrix and uh, imn is now an unknown variable since it is a current passing through a, a voltage source it is an extra variable so our variable column vector will get uh, appended by this imn its size increases by one so there will be one more column corresponding to imn similarly on the right hand side column vector we will have one more element its uh, size also increases by one number of rows increases by one now we will see what are the element entries in this extra row and extra column since uh, since we have seen that vm minus vn equal to zero is the extra equation so it simply introduces a plus one in the m the column that is a coefficient of vm coefficient of vm is one so in the m the column one one extra plus one is introduced and the coefficient of vn is minus one so in the nth column a minus one is introduced and these entries are zeros similarly if you observe the circuit closely the circuit is like this between m the node and m the node we have a zero volt voltage source or a meter and that measures our current imn and this imn in turn controls a source a dependent source alpha times imn 
magnitude of the dependent sources alpha times i m1 and it is between kth node and lth node and uh, you can see that i m1 current is flowing out of mth node so in the mth row and corresponding to this column i m1 since i m n is flowing out of m the node there will be a plus 1 entry in the kcl equation corresponding to the m the node and in the n the node i m n is coming in this current is coming in so in the kcl equation corresponding to the n the node you will have a minus 1 since it, the current is uh, in coming like this and similarly on the k the node this alpha i m n is going out from the kth node so in your kcl equation corresponding to the kth node you will have an additional entry alpha in this column and similarly on the lth node this alpha i m n is coming in so there will be minus alpha the coefficient of this current is alpha and it is coming into the node so minus alpha will be entered here so these are the entries in the extra column and uh, the D matrix remains the same. The entry on the D matrix is zero. Then on the right hand side, uh, this entry is zero because Vm minus Vn is zero. So this zero will appear here. And the variables on the column vector are node voltages. It is represented by V. And the, uh, and the top portion of the right hand side vector is the independent current sources coming into the different nodes so that is represented by j so those values are uh, determined by the original network it will not change the only change occurring due to this introduction of this dependent current source is one this one extra row and extra column okay so this is how a mna stamp of a current controlled current source will look like now let us see the MNA stamp of a current controlled voltage source. So in the case of a current controlled voltage source, the symbol of a current controlled voltage source is uh, shown here. So the it is connected between node K and node L and its magnitude is Rm times IMN where IMN is a current which is controlling the magnitude of this voltage source and Rm is a parameter of this dependent source. So similar to the previous uh, current controlled current source, we will introduce a zero volt voltage source in order to make this IMN an unknown variable or uh, in order to introduce IMN in our column vector of variables. So IMN is now a current passing through with this zero volt voltage source. The zero volt voltage source is connected between node M and node N. So now there will be one extra variable corresponding to this IMN. IMN becomes an extra variable and this is also a voltage source. This RM into IMN is another voltage source between kth node and delta node. From our basic uh, introduction to MNA analysis, we have seen that currents through voltage sources are taken as variables. So here the current that is passing through this voltage source Rm into IMN will be another variable. Since it is connected between kth node and lth node, we can mark that current as IKL. So IKL will be another extra variable. So IMN and IKL are extra variables. So we will have two more rows introduced due to these two variables and two more columns introduced. So we need two extra variables and two extra equations to introduce this uh, MNA stamp of current controlled voltage source. So what are the two extra equations? There are two extra rows and extra columns due to these two extra variables and two extra equations. We already saw what are the two extra variables. Uh, one extra variable is this IMN which is the controlling current. IMN which controls the magnitude of this uh, dependent source and the second extra variable that is being introduced is current that is passing through this voltage source Rm times IMN so that current we called it as IKL since it is between kth node and delta node.
okay so now we will see what are the extra equations the extra two equations you can directly write by looking at this circuit one extra equation is vm minus vn equal to zero vm n is zero since m and n are uh, at the same potential vm minus vn equal to zero is the extra one extra equation then another equation is vkl is equal to this magnitude rm times imn magnitude of this dependent source so vkl is rm times imn vkl can be written as vk minus vl and bro, uh, we will bring this rm into imn to the left hand side so this will give you the second extra equation so these two extra equations will introduce two extra rows in our uh, mna matrix so the two extra rows are v m minus v n equal to zero is the first extra row so v m minus v n is equal to zero is the first extra row so uh, on the mth sorry there is a mistake here on the mth column on the mth column you will have one so it is v m and on the nth column because vm minus vn is 0 so the coefficient of vm is plus 1 and coefficient of vn is minus 1 so on the nth column you will have a plus 1 and on the nth column you will have a minus 1 rather entries are zeros similarly we will see what is the next and second extra equation the second equation was vk minus vn is equal to rm times imn vk minus vn is equal to or minus rm times imn is zero so the coefficient of vk is plus one so vk is k to column the coefficient is plus one vn coefficient of vn is minus one coefficient of imn is my, minus rm minus rm so coefficient of imn will be minus rm this is zero and these entries are zeros so these are the two rows so you can observe here there are two extra rows corresponding to the two new currents imn and ikl due to the dependent source and two extra columns imn and ikl so the first uh, extra row contains this equation vm minus vn is equal to zero so there is one here minus one here the other entries are zero and the second extra row uh, corresponds to this, this equation vk minus vl is equal to rm times imn so that also I have entered here. Now we want to see what are the entries coming on these two extra columns. Now we have filled the extra rows. So if you observe the symbol of this dependent source, you can see that this IMN is flowing out of M the node. So on the IMN current, if you take the IMN current, it is flowing out of M the node. So on the mth node you have to put a plus one so when you are writing the kcl equation at the mth node uh, a current imn is flowing out so there will be a plus one entry then on the nth row on the kcl equation corresponding to the nth node if you observe the nth node imn current is coming in so there will be a minus one here when you are writing the kcl equation so on the kth node when you are writing the kcl equation a current ikl is coming flowing out of kth node flowing out of kth node so the ikl on the I, this column corresponding to ikl there will be a plus one on the kth node the, similarly on the lth node when we are writing the kcl equation ikl is coming into lth node so there will be minus one here the other entries are zeros so this is how we can fill the extra Columns. So this will be the MNA stamp of a current controlled voltage source. The right hand side column vector uh, will have two extra rows and those entries are zeros because the RHS of the two extra equations are zeros. Vm minus Vn equal to zero and the Vk minus Vn minus Rm I M is zero. So the, these two entries will be zeros. And you can mm, see one more interesting observation. Uh, our D matrix this part is also now modified there is a new minus rm term coming 
So this will be the shape of the MNS damper, a current controlled voltage source. Okay. So we will see some problems in the next video. Thank you.